Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I just want to talk uh, about uh, the prices in Norway, especially uh, prices for grocery shopping, which is insane. So, uh, roll the intro. Welcome back. Yeah, I got an intro. I just made a simple, simple little intro yesterday because uh, after the swearing video I did uh, last time, uh, I figured that uh, it would be a good idea to make a, uh, a little quick little intro. It's not great, but uh, it's a start. I think I can build on uh, on that intro. So anyway, I want to talk about the. The prices in Norway, uh, everything is expensive in Norway, especially uh, grocery shopping and uh, fuel and stuff like that. I went shopping uh, yesterday. I didn't buy a lot of stuff. I'm going to show, uh, show a little receipt here so uh, you can see what the total amount was. But uh, you know those uh, shopping trolleys, uh, the new ones made out of plastic, they're a lot smaller than uh, the big metal ones. That one was was pretty full, so it was it wasn't uh, overflowing anything, but uh, it was pretty full, and it cost me seventeen hundred and six kron kroners, or seventeen hundred and seven kroners. Currency converter, and uh, I want. US dollars and I want to convert from kroners and that was 1706 97 so that's two hundred dollars and sixty one cents for a, a few items it's a lot of small items two dollar three dollar stuff here yeah i can just uh, do a video and just scroll through the items so you can see what it is yeah i'm gonna do a recording uh, on the phone and uh, i'm gonna show you what that looks like so we got four plastic bags that's six kroners and 40 six forty kroners and we have two different types of bananas 1137 24 for 52 um, an ice cream, uh, a frozen pizza, that was over $10, potato chips, chili sauce, Coca-Cola, no sugar, egg noodles, apple juice, uh, pasta and snows, spice, chopped tomatoes, flour, another ice cream, and two iced coffees, iced coffee a la mocha, uh, chocolate bar, and I bought the um, uh, freaking chopper again. Hey, I got the bleep sound. Mother chopper. So I got the uh, two uh, packs of. Um, minced meat made out of pork it's only 220 grams and that was 20 kroners but uh, the regular minced meat is freaking expensive uh, it's uh, I think it's 14 percent fat and that was 27 kroners per pack about four packs of those knackebra not sure what you call that in English and uh, a little bag of knot that's like candy really good and some uh, goodie for the cats onion macaroni uh, three little cans of corn 17 kroners almonds margarine uh, some noodles and a small bag of chips Unpopped popcorn, potato, mashed potatoes, eggs, sausages, ketchup, cigarettes for Ingrid, 
and uh, two glasses of uh, instant coffee, two uh, cartons of milk, uh, oil, and uh, economy uh, cheese, grated cheese. It's a, uh, it's the cheapest cheese they got grated, and some uh, rolls and some um, chocolate spread. Uh, pretzels, uh, bread, one kilo of sugar, not 17.80, tomato puree, uh, eight pack of mini tortillas, and a 900 gram pack of uh, meatballs. So that's 1707 kroners, or just over 200 dollars. That is freaking insane. They also, uh, I'm gonna do another uh, screen recording here because uh, this one is the most annoying of all. A few days ago, they opened up uh, the new uh, toll booth uh, in my area and in, in Bergen in general. And uh, I'm gonna show some, uh, I'm gonna do some video. You can see uh, every little mark here that says KR inside. That's a toll booth. So everything here are toll booth. Toll booths. Those are uh, speed cameras. Those little camera things here. And this is probably construction. Yeah, closed roads. Here is construction. So all of these are. Uh, Toll booth. So here you can see what it costs. Uh, this is uh, uh, if you're passing uh, when it's not rush hour. It's 30 kroners for a car and 70 for a truck. And that goes. I can't remember the price for a, a rush hour. I think it's double uh, or more than double. I can't remember. But anyway, it's freaking insane. I live here in uh, Blomstadal. This is where I live. Uh, here, here's the airport. So uh, if I wanted to go, uh, let's say, to um, Fyllingsdal, uh, usually, let me try and zoom in here. The quickest road is going through here. And you go through the, the tunnel. And you come out here, and it's where is Fillingstall again? Yeah, here's Fillingstall. You just go through a uh, a new long tunnel, which is uh, really awesome. It's a long tunnel, and you save like uh, ten minutes or something. And I don't mind paying for that. The problem is now that if I want to go to Fillingstall and not pay toll, I can't. If I want to go to uh, Lagoon, which is here, somewhere. Uh, here is Lagoon. If I want to go here, which is the, the biggest uh, shopping center uh, close to my house, uh, I can't without uh, going through toll booths. Usually I would just uh, drive this road here, go down here through the roundabout here and uh, here's the shopping center no problem it's like 10 minutes to drive but uh, not anymore uh, now they got a toll booth here in the old days well before when there was a lot of traffic uh, you could take a uh, smaller road called Skagevejen guess what they got a toll booth here too so basically the only shopping center I can go to now without uh, going through a toll booth is in uh, is the shopping center here in Blomstadal. It's right here. This is the shopping center. That's the only thing I can go to, and there are a couple of uh, smaller uh, local grocery stores I can go to. But apart from that, uh, there are basically no roads to uh, to drive. Uh, to get out of the area without going through a toll booth. In the, the normal rate is 30 kroners. So that's uh, three and a half dollars or something 
for one uh, one pass of the toll booth one way and uh, if you're unlucky and you get stuck in traffic and you uh, pass them in uh, in the rush hour uh, then it's going to be uh, I can't remember the exact price but uh, I think I'm going to see if I can find that out I drive a diesel car yeah if you drive a gas or a hybrid it's 25 kroners but if you drive a diesel like I do it's 30 kroners and if you pass in uh, the rush hour it's 56 kroners six dollars one way if you buy a, uh, a discount pack you get 20% discount but then you have to prepay uh, I can't remember uh, how much it was but uh, you have to prepay quite a bit and you get 20% uh, discount and then it's gonna be like five dollars or something freaking insane so yeah the new toll booth uh, opened up uh, April 6th at midnight so I haven't uh, gone through the toll booth uh, after they opened it uh, so makes me so mad there are a few uh, organizations uh, on Facebook uh, they had a uh, a demonstration the other day uh, they gathered a few hundred cars and trucks and uh, they drove slowly into uh, into the city downtown area because they were demonstrating against the toll booth the problem I see well first of all it's not gonna do anything because uh, the politicians they see how much money they get in but the problem the way I see it is that uh, all the people they gathered in the demonstration all of them also have to pay to uh, go through the toll booth and uh, hundreds of cars and trucks and uh, that's just gonna bring in even more money into the pocket of the politicians just a little uh, financial rant from uh, from me today but uh, remember to like uh, the video if you like it or uh, dislike it if you don't like it and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't al already subscribed and uh, leave a comment uh, down below what you think about uh, the toll booth and uh, especially the prices here in Norway especially for groceries and uh, for fuel you can uh, let me know uh, Write any comment uh, what toll booths and uh, general groceries and stuff like that, what it costs uh, where you live, especially fuel, fuel prices, because uh, everybody's interested in fuel prices. Uh, let me know any comments and uh, everyone else can, uh, can check that out. Thanks for watching and uh, I'm going to see if I can find an uh, outro music uh, thing that I can... Uh, add to the video and what you think about the, the intro video I did it's only uh, it's just a quick simple video I made uh, to, I just wanted to have uh, my own intro so anyway thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one cheers I noticed in the previous video that uh, the audio was uh, peaking uh, quite a few times there so uh, I've uh, changed the uh, input levels input gain on the uh, on the microphone I was using the lapel mic so uh, hopefully it's gonna turn out better this time still learning but uh, doing my hardest uh, to get everything uh, looking and sounding the best I can and I also noticed that uh, the framing of the video wasn't uh, perfect my head was uh, my head was almost like this so that's not good I tried to change the composition of the video and uh, hopefully this video is gonna look better and uh, Future videos will also hopefully look and sound better. And uh, maybe you notice that the uh, now I got I got a whole lot more in the frame. You can see the YouTube uh, play button and uh, everything. So hopefully it looks and sounds much better this time. But hopefully I got it uh, perfect this time. Bye.